Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's Evan Rotary here again, and it feels great to be back. I'd like to apologize for taking such a long break, but I um, had a lot of things going on, but that's okay. We're going to come back stronger. We're going to put more videos out. We've got more gear, and we got more skills. So, hope you guys enjoy this first video back. And um, just like kind of like the first video we did, uh, it was Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey. This one's actually Broken Halo by. Uh, Chris Stapleton, and I hope you guys enjoy this. It's talking about this song. First off, gonna need one of these. Capo. Good old capo. You're gonna wanna put it right there where it feels snug on your first fret. Next, we're gonna go over the chords that are in the song. It's gonna be G. I preferably like to add my ring finger to the third fret on the B string gives it that tone because you'll see on the other chords that I play. So if we were playing it how a lot of other people play, you're just going to be playing like that. I prefer this. It gives it more body. Um, C add 9 is the next chord we'll be talking about, which is that. So it's almost like the G, except for these two fingers move down each a string. And um, it's, you know, you got your ring finger on that third fret on the B string. I like to add the pinky on the third fret on the E string. It gives it more of that body, too. So that way it makes it easier, too, to change over notes. Because you're going from G to C. With only moving these two fingers, well, these are locked down. So, next you're going to go back to G, and the next chord in the song is going to be an E minor 7. Um, I know a lot of people will play it like that. However, I like to leave these fingers on there, and I'll kind of come in when I play it. I'll hit it with one finger on it, and I'll hammer it. So it's going to be an E minor shape, but with the same two fingers on, the E and the B string is the G and the C. So, um, those are actually the main chords that are in the song. There's only one other part in the song, which is after the second time the chorus comes through, I believe. Um, it's going to be uh, B minor, um, which is going to be a bar chord um, on your second fret. And then we're going to go to G. We're going to play a G the same way we are playing it before. Back to B minor. Then you're going to go to C and back to G. Well, we'll get into that in a little bit. All right, guys. So we're going to get into the intro slash chorus thing. The only difference between the chorus is he plays it a little softer on the intro. So you guys could follow along with me while I play it through. Up here, I'm going to have the chord names. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it. And I'm going to lightly sing it just for teaching purposes. So I hope you guys aren't commenting on my uh, awesome Chris Stapleton ear piercing singing voice. All right. I've seen my shares of broken halos. So that's going to be your intro slash chorus. The first verse starts off about talking about angels coming down from the heavens. However, it's going to be the same chords that were played in the chorus. So it's basically going to be like, angels come down from the heavens just to help us on our So 
So then, it's got a little building. I see my shares of broken halos. So from that verse, that's kind of the transition chorus. So all in all, you're playing the same song or the same chords almost the whole time. All right, so the only difference between the chorus and the intro is the chords after you play after the singing part is done. Um, so basically it's kind of like an instrumental bridge between the chorus and the verse. Um, and those are gonna end after broken halos that used to shine and then you're gonna go into a G minor. second verse so the second verse is exactly the same um, as the first verse chord wise and strum wise so um, basically it goes into that and then you're going to go into your I would say it's an outro but it's still the same as your chorus and your intro um, it's going to be um, it's going to be the same thing except for it's going to repeat broken halos that used to shine and it's going to repeat that four times so I can go through that whole outro for you guys real quick here um, pay attention to the chords up there and make sure you guys got this but um, this is the outro this goes I see my share of broken halos So there you guys have it. That's the outro. You guys now know the intro, chorus, first, the chorus, second verse, and the outro chorus. That repeats broken halos that used to shine. So I hope you guys use this to your advantage and uh, impress your friends with it and play uh, a lot of bonfires and have a lot of fun with it. So I appreciate you guys watching again. And um, please comment and subscribe as usual. So we'll be back next time.